like it is, but we're gonna have to kind of add it to that. So we probably zoom out just to kind of see what we're looking at. Because if we were just right now to like take this and start shifting it, it would take a new shape. And we really wouldn't know what it would be like compared to the old one. Right. You know? Okay. So let's okay. now do command copy. So now we drag that, put it over it. Sometimes our technical design process starts out by hand, and today we're gonna to take you through why. So as you've seen, most of our pattern making is done digitally. You know, computers nowadays make it very efficient. But when we're taking an existing pattern of another product, we have to start by hand because we have to be able to get the exact shapes and the exact measurements of that actual product before we can then digitize it. So this process starts by taking the product we are looking to replicate, laying it over specific craft paper that we work with, and from there we draw outlines, we sometimes make pin marks, um, and then eventually, eventually turning it into a grid, which then we translate to the computer. All right, so when you're starting line, literally the fastest, easiest way is to send us the existing product you wanna duplicate. Because then from there, because we pattern make in-house, we sample and we do the production, technical design, everything, which in past episodes we talked about how important that is. So by starting it, it fast tracks it and we can get you launched in no time. So this, what Rachel's working on right now, um, a client is um, in the process of launching a youth line and they specifically wanted to base um, their youth line sizing and fit off of what they sent us. So this right here is a prime example of what we've been talking about where we can, where basically we're gonna take this exact product and base their whole line based on its sizing. Um. So when, when we're taking a, pro a um, product by hand, it's, um, it's a nice option because if we don't have kind of a starting point, it allows for that. So we're not just like starting from scratch. Um, and I like being able to, um, to do it by hand because it's, I guess it's just a different way, um, a different way of making the product and a different way to begin it. Um, and I, I guess I always like um, beginning something actually by, by doing it, not on the computer. Um, and then the next step is to, to put it into the computer. So having the ability to, um, to do the pattern by hand, I guess it just, um, it adds another element to being able to get the pattern that we want. And so um, if we are starting from, from scratch, from nothing, then it would take a lot longer to, um, to come up with a product or a pattern that, um, is, that somewhat works. So starting it by hand, we at least have like a template to work from. Um, so it, it quickens the process. So Rachel just finished the process of uh, taking this pattern by hand. Um, I'm now working on digitizing it, putting it on the computer, and then we can work on it from there with our client. Um, and I know that we said, you know, this, this streamlines the process, but I want to stress that um, it, it streamlines it, but also it is so efficient because we do everything in-house. And we talk about it a lot that the pattern making leads us to the technical design, which then leads us to sample making, which then leads us to production. And having them combined all together is what makes the process so efficient versus using third parties that are completely separate from one another. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in and watching. If you have any questions at all about our process or the way we do things or even how we can help you, leave us a comment, send us a DM, or shoot us an email. We want to hear from you. We want to help you. We'll see you next episode.